Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a very cranberry inspired look. It wasn't intentionally supposed to be this way, but I have this palette that I actually created. I bought this Z palette from Makeup Geek and that is this palette right here. And I was just inspired by these colors. I saw this palette and decided I really wanted to come up with a look creating these colors. So I pretty much used everything besides these two colors on the end, but I used every other color in this palette. And I really like how it came out. It's very cranberry inspired. Florida dropped to 54 degrees today, and you already know, for us Floridians, that's a big deal. I was just very inspired by the weather. I felt very cozy, very fall, very cranberry leaves, you know? No? Okay. <laughs> so I really hope you guys like this look and enjoy this video. Please keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. And I don't really know what look I'm going for. I'm just doing my makeup because I got to go to work. And I need to look presentable. So I did feel inspired to use these colors. So let me show you. I'm going to be using these colors. I don't know what colors exactly, but I'm going to go off these colors. Most of them are Makeup Geek. Some are, I think all of them are Makeup Geek. There might be two or three Morphe ones, but you know what? They're all looking like Makeup Geek. I think they are. Definitely are. Yep. I just felt like using these today because I always use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Try something different. Why not? So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into my makeup. This is Baby Face by Makeup Geek. So it is this bone, like a tan color. It's like a, I don't know, it's between bone and skin color. So I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And I'm just using a flat top Zoeva brush. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid just so that my shadows blend a lot better. To go into my crease, I'm going to start off with this very soft color. This is Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. So it is this soft peach color. So in my last video, I said I was feeling off. And now I know why. I ended up getting sick. And I think the next day after filming that video, I woke up and just like didn't have a voice. And now it's like coming in and out. But I definitely understand why I was sleeping so much and why I felt so out of it. I was like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. Yep. I was catching a cold. And that's all. So I am one of those people that turn into babies when they're sick like i want you to baby spoon feed me like i want to cuddle i want to like be hugged i want you to call me every two seconds like i am so ñoña when it comes to being sick so to start building up color i'm gonna go into creme brulee and this is also a makeup geek shadow and it's just a little bit darker than beaches and cream and I'm just going to use that same brush and just build this all over my crease. But I'm going to go right a little bit under where I put the other color. And now I'm going to go into this scary color right here. This is Chickadee. Chickadee eyeshadow. And this is from Makeup Geek as well. I think this is one of my favorite colors just because it's so different. And... It's a little scary, you know? Now I'm going to go into Desert Sands. And that is this mustard color. This is also from Makeup Geek. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that these are all Makeup Geek shadows. This was not planned. This is the Bitten color by Makeup Geek. And I just want to use this color all over my lid which is a little intimidating because it's a pretty bright color but it's like this cranberry color I don't know I just feel inspired today I'm gonna put the most product on my lot like on my eyelash line like low whatever whatever it's called I'm gonna stay low and then I'll work that color up 
just because it is an intense color and I don't want to look crazy. Sometimes the warmth of your finger is just better than using a brush, I feel like. Nothing. I'm going to go ahead and go into all the colors that I've been using as my transition colors just to kind of intensify it and blend everything together. So I'm going to go into Coco Bear. And I'm just going to put that on the outer B of my eye so that it kind of gives it like a semi smoky look. Now I'm moving on to the face. So I just primed my skin using the Smashbox Foundation Primer. This is the Photo Focus Foundation Primer. And with a damp beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC20. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation. Lastly. Now for concealer, of course, I'm going to be going into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Sand. And to set my concealer, I'm just going to be using, of course, my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I'm using the shade Dulce de Leche. I'm just going to be using this shade right here. And I'll be using that to set my concealer. And I'm going to just go ahead and use the same Dampened Beauty Blender. I'm like into my, I'm into my feelings right now. Listening to all these canciones de amor in Spanish. <laughs> And for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my Benefit Hula Bronza, which I haven't used in a long time, but I'm going to be using it for my Chicathon palette, and that is this color right here, and I'll be using this Real Techniques brush just to apply this, and I just want a chiseled look, so I'm going to start up here and just work that color down, and... I'm going to just speed this process up because I got a lot of blending to do. So ever since I did my video on my all-time favorite products, I haven't been able to stop using Blush Baby. And that is this beautiful, beautiful blush using this Morphe G6 brush. So pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and complete my eyes. And to do that, I'm gonna go into every single color that I used on my crease and on my eyelids and blend that out on my lower lash line. Just to give my eyes a little bit of a pop, of course, I'm going to go into a highlighting color. So I'm going to go into my Mary Luminizer because ever since the video, I'm like obsessed again. So I'm just going to go into the Mary Luminizer and put that in my inner corner. Putting an inner corner highlight really just opens up your eyes and makes you look more awake. I naturally have like sleepy eyes. So when I put on inner corner highlight, it definitely like makes a really big difference for me. Let's put some on my brow bone. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take that color and put it on my waterline. Just makes your eyes look more awake, more open, more alert, more not sleepy. Because people tell me all the time, are you okay? You look sleepy. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And this is in the color Black is Black. This is the Fix Plus Prep and Prime, and I am going to just spray this all over my face so that I can go ahead and continue to lips and highlight. I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer again. I'm just trying to use as like minimal makeup products, which sounds crazy because I know I've used a lot, but I'm not trying to switch it up on you guys so much. So just go ahead and highlight the face. So for a lip liner, I'm going to go into the Palladio Cabernet lip liner, and that is this Cabernet color. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. Over that, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D lipstick in the color Lovecraft, Mauve purple shade and I'm just gonna go over I'm just a plain old Jane okay guys that is it for this look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel for further videos don't forget to turn on those notification bells so that every time I upload a video you are notified and of course hit that red subscribe button down below leave any suggestions comments for future videos, if you had any questions about this video or if there's anything you guys want to know, just make sure to leave your feedback down below. I would love to know what you guys love to see and create that for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And this is, again... Just stock up on water. If you remember the song, comment down below. And we could be friends. I would eventually like to do a video doing throwback songs because I love listening to old music. So if you guys would like to watch me, let me know. If you guys used to listen to old school reggaeton, I'm talking about I was like in elementary school <laughs> and I would listen to these songs. And now I listen to them and I'm like, Lord Jesus Christ, what the heck was I singing? If you guys remember this song, comment down below too because this song used to be my jam. And now I hear it and I'm like... <laughs>